our chat. So to open up a menu, you want to press the menu button on your hand controllers. If you have a hand controller, if you're using the keyboard, press the escape button. So here we go. I open up the menu and worlds, there they are, top left, let me select that. All right, and this brings up the worlds list and they're laid out in sort of a grid in front of me and they're sorted by row. So up top, we have featured. And so those are worlds that have been built by VRChat developers. We think they give a pretty good examples of what VRChat is capable of. Next row is active. And hey, there's only two people here. Well, that's because I'm in a sort of a private developer version of VRChat. And right now there's only a couple of us here in the hub. Next is popular. Popular worlds are worlds that have had a lot of visits by our users recently. So that might be a good place to go to see what everyone else has been checking out. And then below that are new worlds. And new worlds are literally just that. They're the newest worlds that have been uploaded and made public by our users. So one nice feature is that I can expand a category. Now see how featured has taken up three rows. And I do that by clicking on that little arrow there. So that's good if I've got a lot of worlds to browse through and then I can close it up again, just like that. All right, so now let's actually learn how to get to a new world. So again, here's my list of worlds. Here, let me go to battle disks. So here we are. Now it's showing me battle disks and I can go there and I can drop a portal. So if I click the go button, poof, I'd be off to battle disks. Let me drop a portal though to show you that. All right, woo, I've opened up a portal to a new world. And if I walk through there, I will go straight to battle disks. Portals are really great if you're hanging out with a group of people and you all want to go to the same place together. Well, then someone drops down a portal and everyone can just walk right through it. Um, as you can see, there's actually a timer at the bottom. It's counting down the seconds. So in a few seconds, that portal is going to disappear. And there it goes. Oof. All right. So let me show you another neat feature that we've got. So let me open up the menu again. OK. So here I am, now there's only one of me in the hub. But let's say I was actually with a group of people and we all like hanging out in the hub. It's a pretty nice place, but we, we want to have a private conversation in there. So what we can do is actually create a private instance, a private version of the hub that's only accessible to me and my friends. Let me show you how to do that. So I select the hub and now I'm going to create a new instance of the hub. And now I have access options that I can control. So I can create a public hub, and then anyone could come into that hub. I can create a friends hub. And if I create a friends hub, then only my friends and also friends of friends can go in there. And finally, I have invite only. And if I select invite only, then only people who I, the creator of this new instance, specifically invite can come in. Let me select that. So now up here we've updated. So now we're looking at hub number two. I'm in hub number one. I would be creating hub number two. That is a new instance of the hub. Obviously there's no one in there yet. So I could go there directly again, or I could drop a portal. Now the thing to know is that when I drop a portal, anyone can see that portal and go through that portal. So if I really just wanted to have only the friends I invited, then I would just go to the hub directly and start inviting people from there. But maybe there's a few other people hanging out and it's okay if they come in through a portal with me, you know, the portal's only gonna be around 30 seconds, then I can drop down a portal. And then once that portal's gone, since this is an invite only instance, then again, only people who I invited could, could, could go in. So anyway, that gives you some options to work with. Uh, I hope you guys learn from this tutorial and I'll see you in another video. Bye.